Hello, I'm Jose Smith with Channel 7 News. Today, we look at Native Americans in America. They have influenced our culture for decades through art, witty cartoons, even the Cleveland Indians. Channel 7 had the privilege to speak with the last remaining member of the most influential tribe in American history. Meet 28-year-old Jeff Larson. He looks like you and I. But what you wouldn't know is that his people, the Jigsaw Tribe, are on the brink of extinction. Yeah, so my uh, great-granddad was, uh, he was a quarter Iroquois, and uh, dad was a uh, full-blooded Jigsaw. It's a tribe that got start in, uh, got a start in Rhode Island, I think. Right. He even Jigsaw introduced tribe. me to his best friend. Yeah, this is my dog. I had a wolf, but the state took her away. So I got this little girl instead. I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, she's a very lovely animal. Yeah. Very fine. Yeah, pit bulls ain't mean. It's all how you raise. You were saying, Jeff? What are you staring at? Something on the She looks like she's good for breeding, don't she? <laughs> What do you like to know? What does that even mean? What do you like to know? Tom, Tom, can we cut up, please? And before I knew it, I was in like a Jeff's spirit. world. Barking up at the moon, and I want his tongue to be coming out. And then I want, like, a Native American to be standing on the tip of his tongue and a bunch of wolf babies barking up with the tongue. And I want the wolf babies to start up my kneecaps and go all the way up to my obliques and they're just gonna be like snapping because they're hungry. I uh... I really do believe that that really explains your origin quite well actually. That's what I was hoping you'd say Jose. Yeah. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Jeff let me into his home, or as he calls it, his modern teepee. Do you unbuckle my hat? Freaking idiot! What are you stupid? So this, so this is a, a traditional living space for your for your kind. For my kind, yeah, this is where the. I then felt I was part of the Jigsaw tribe. Happens. Okay. Uh, you know, you actually, you have actually really nice teeth for, uh... Uh, you saying I can't have nice teeth because I'm Indian? So, Jeff, tell me, um, what are some of the customs or traditions that, uh, come with the Jigsaw people? Well, for starters, Jose, uh, like I was telling you earlier, I'm a shaman. My spirit animal is a catfish. A catfish? Yeah, because I'm like a cat because I'm sneaky. But I'm underwater or something like that, so you can't see me. Some of my psychic told me I don't know what she was talking about. Right, right. Um, and uh, do you practice any of these traditions or customs to this day? Yeah, I'm skilled in uh, rain dance ritual. Really, you? Yeah, I'm a rain dancer. You like can I, actually make it rain. Like I make it rain, like outside. Really? Uh, would you mind doing that for us? Uh, I'll, give you, a, I'll give you a couple of little sprinkles in here. Really? You can actually do that in here? Yeah. Where, where are you going, Jeff? As Jeff got more comfortable, okay, wow. I became um, uncomfortable. Yeah, I you know, uh, legally, you can Relax, be, you're on a reservation. No, no, you can be prosecuted for this. What is he doing? Oh my God. Tom, Tom, we cannot be... Shoot. Jeff, I... Jeff, is... Are you okay? What is he doing? Jeff, is he having a heart attack? Is he having a stroke? <laughs> Jeff, um, can you get paramedics maybe? No, my heart just kicked the beat. Come on, let's go outside. I don't want to get water over my couch. I don't let's think that's a good idea. I don't think you should go out. Come on, I think, come on, let's go. I actually call paramedics. Dear Squanto, Crazy. As Jeff began his rain dance, I realized that not even he believed the lies he was telling. Salty tears, they come down and water our crops so the white man can see that you were alive and well. <laughs> it's cold. Oh 
Are you just gonna do me like that, huh? And when the rain didn't come, Jeff began cursing at the gods he so very loved. You know what, Squanto? I'm gonna come up there and shove a up your It's gonna burn so bad you're gonna be smiling, coughing up for a week, you mother Yeah, I'm gonna go get you. I'm gonna come up there and beat you up and you're gonna shove it up your I'm done. I'm done with y'all. Whatever. I'm gonna go inside and do some coke. And the rains finally did come, two weeks later. I'm Jose Smith, Channel 7 News. Thank you for watching.